Hello everyone. In this video, we're gonna solve this interesting math equation. Our equation is x minus y is equal to four, and our second equation is x cube minus y cube is equal to twenty-eight. And we'll find out what is the value of x and y in this international math Olympiad question. So, how to solve this question? It is an interesting math. So, it is our first equation, and it is our second equation. So, one of that, one of that. We know that x cube minus y cube it will be x minus y times x square plus x y plus y square. Then this equation becomes look we'll find out his x cube minus y cube is equal to x minus y times and here is x square plus 3xy minus 2xy plus y square. We know that 3xy minus 2xy it will be xy because of that here is 3xy is positive, this is negative. So it will be positive. Then I can say it will be x cube minus y cube is equal to x minus y times and in this case, I can say that here is x square minus 2xy plus y square. It will be x minus y whole square. And here is positive 3xy. <coughs> then, look, our first equation is x minus y is equal to 4. And our second equation is x cube minus y cube is equal to 28. So I can see easily here is x cube minus y cube it will be 28 is equal to x minus y it will be 4 and x minus y it will be 4 square plus 3xy. Then in this case if I divide both sides 4 so here is 4 and here is 4 this time I can say this 4 this 4 I cancel and 28 divide 4 it will be 7 so this equation is 7 is equal to 4 square plus 3xy then I can say easily it will be 7 look 7 and 4 square it will be 16 plus 3xy then I can say easily it will be 3xy is equal to 7 minus 16 then I can say this equation becomes look here is 3xy and it will be minus 9 then if I divide both sides again by 3 so this this cancel and 9 divide 3 it will be 3 so we find out the value of xy is equal to minus 3 then I can see that here is y is equal to minus 3 over x. It is our third equation. But remember that our first equation is x minus y is equal to 4. So at this moment, if I put the value of y in our first equation, look, our first equation is x minus y is equal to 4. Then here is y is equal to minus 3 over x. So I can say here is x minus y is equal to minus 3 over x is equal to 4. <coughs> then this equation, look, minus minus it will be plus. So I can say x plus 3 over x is equal to 4. Then if I multiply both sides by x, this time I can say here is x times x, it will be x square and x times 3 over x, x is cancelled, so it will be plus 3, and here is 4x. Then this equation becomes, look, it will be x square minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. So it is a quadratic equation. So in this case, I can see it will be x square minus 3x minus x plus 3 is equal to 0. I do factorization, middle factor, minus 3x minus x, it will be minus 4x. Then, I can say here is x is common, so if this I divide this, it will be x minus 3, minus 1 is common, so it will be x minus 3 is equal to 0. 
then I can see easily here is x minus 3 is again common and we have here is x minus 1 is equal to 0 so in this case we are find out here is two case uh, our first case is look I can say at this moment it will be x minus 3 times x minus 1 is equal to 0 so I can say easily here is x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0 so we are find out here is x is equal to 3 and x is equal to minus 1 it will be plus 1 because of that we move this minus 1 in right side so we find out here is plus 1 then remember that our third equation is y is equal to minus 3 over x so we'll find out here is our third equation it will be y is equal to minus 3 over x then when x is equal to 3 this time i can say y is equal to minus 3 over 3 so it will be minus 1 so we'll find out when x is equal to 3 this time y is equal to minus 1 and again when x is equal to positive 1 i mean when x is equal to 1 this time y is equal to minus 3 over 1 it will be minus 3 so we'll find out here is again other point it will be x y it will be 1 minus 3 so we'll find out here is two answer when x is equal to 3 this time y is equal to minus 1 when x is equal to 1 this time y is equal to minus 3 so let's check out uh, our question is uh, x minus y is equal to 4 and x cube minus y cube is equal to 28 so when x is equal to 3 this time y is equal to minus 1 look when x is equal to 3 and this time y is equal to minus 1 so minus minus it will be plus 1 so i can say 3 plus 1 it will be 4 and again when x is equal to 1 this time y is equal to minus 3 so minus minus it will be plus 3 so 1 plus 3 it will be 4 and others case look here is x cube minus y cube so we'll find out here is 1 and minus 3 so if i put this value here is minus uh, 1 to the power 3 it will be 1 and minus and here is minus 3 power 3 it will be minus 27 so minus 27 plus here is minus it will be plus so 27 plus 1 it will be 28 because of that look we have here is x x is 1 to the power 3 minus minus 3 power 3 so minus 3 power 3 odd number it will be minus 27 so here is minus this is minus 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 it will be plus so 1 plus 27 it will be 28 and in this case we'll find out here is x is equal to 3 no uh, y is equal to minus 1 and in this case easily i can say 27 plus 1 it will be 28 so we'll find out our final answer is x is equal to 3, y is equal to minus 1, x is equal to 1, y is equal to minus 3.